Okay, so you know me as Zach, and this is Adam right here, and he just got a iPhone 3G. Show them, and show them the back. Okay, and I'm here with my iPhone 2G, 2G slash Edge slash first first gen, and my sexy hat. Got from Coco. <laughs> okay. So, what do you have to say about your new iPhone, Adam, in your first 24 hours of use? Yeah. Okay, what do you have to say? Um, it's a lot, it feels a lot slimmer than the regular 2G iPhone. Even though it is thicker. It's thicker it's because it's rounded on the edges. Round backs, yes. Um, I like how the, the mute button and the sliders are... Metal. Or metal instead of silver. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. All the speakers are grilled. Yes. They have grills. They're pimp. Dude. So, yeah. And, um, Adam. What do you have to say about the new 2.0 firmware? Uh, it's, it's actually, it's better than, it's a great advance in the iPod, if you want to call it history, based on the 1.1.4. Yes, I would think so, but it does crash a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, they're they're they have to a lot, a lot, a lot. They're gonna come out with 2.0.1. A lot, a lot, a lot. It crashes a lot every yeah. single time you open AIM. One out of four times it crashes. Four. MySpace does not crash. Never ever. Phone saber crashes. N phone saber has never crashed on me. Even though I got it this morning. For all of you that don't know what phone saber is, it's just this. Wait. And then. Okay. So I guess we'll fight. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna talk about the, um,. I HATE THE APPLICATION CONTACTS! Hate it! Right, right, right here! I just hate it! Hate it! Hate it! You, do you know why I hate it? Cause you can just go into the phone application and press contacts. But you do not need the contacts button. My brightness was like all the way down anyway. Uh, another big difference is the black back. Well, everybody knows that. With and what's an advantage of the plastic back? Um, as we all know, it's got the Wi-Fi, the the receiver, the and Wi-Fi receiver, the edge receiver, and the three G receiver, and the Bluetooth, and Bluetooth. It um makes it a lot clearer. It makes it easier to find the satellites and, and GPS else. receiver and, and yes. GPS. It makes it easier to find everything else when um. Because when it has a metal back, it's harder to transmit through. Yes, and yes, yes. Okay. So, what do you have to say about the 3G coverage? Like, in certain places? There's not 3G everywhere, but luckily, in my house, there's 3G everywhere. And in my house, there's, there's not. Edge. There's Edge. But who cares, because... That's because he doesn't have I have an it. iPhone. Oh, and here's my beautiful Pepto. Shout out to Pepto, even though he's always on my phone. I got you. I like Igachi very much. Now we're His name is Pepto because he's pink. Oh my god, he needs water. Yes. Well, I guess now we're going to start talking is about... Is he drinking Mountain Dew? Yes, he is. He is? Seriously? That's what they drink. Seriously? Yep. Oh my god. Seriously? Yeah. And no they, way. And they eat bananas. That is Mountain Dew. It's the new one. It's the, pr it's the pink one. Oh my god, are you serious? He's actually drinking Mountain Dew. That's is that thing. really Mountain Dew? Holy crap! Cool! <laughs> um, I guess right now we're gonna um, start talking about some of the applications on the 3G iPhone and on the 2.0 software. And almost everything that can be on the, the 3G iPhone can also be on first gen. Except for, um... Except for specific GPS applications. Like Loop It. Well, loop It still works. But it's not as good. But it's not as well. Why because it, it's not... It doesn't... See GPS, it finds your exact location, 
and but, a little bit just finds the location where but you're in. iPhones just naturally they they can tell where you are because of the cellular and Wi-Fi networks uh, I'm gonna show you guys loop it right now I'm gonna download it you haven't downloaded it yet no you can download it right now yeah. on air I'm a turtle okay and while he's downloading I'm going to talk a little bit about Apple's new remote application. Insulting Papa Castro. I'm not insulting Papa Castro, even though I'm doing Okay, so, um, so the new remote application is by Apple, and it, what it enables you to do is control your iTunes or your Apple TV. And as Mac Rumors has found out, you, they, you can also be a wireless keyboard for your Apple TV. Another application that I like is... Oh, wait. Here's a hidden feature that nobody knows about, uh, not a lot of people know about in the 2.0 software. If you hold the sleep-wake button, or no, the home button, and place, press the sleep-wake button, you get a flash, and that's a screen capture. Then you can go right into your photos and find... It's it will be in your camera roll. For me, it doesn't. And here's a screen capture. For me, it's not my camera roll. And there's my sister, Emily. Hi, Emily. Oh my god, when did, when were these pictures taken? She looks freaking drunk. I know you are. When were these taken? When was she playing with my phone? Oh yeah, okay. I hate when, you, Sony! When you download applications, uh... On 3G, it will go faster. And if it's if it's over 10 megabytes, you'll need to download it on your computer and then transfer it to your iPhone. Or but, you'll but, have to go into Wi-Fi, which is faster than 3G. Yeah. Like right Unless now, you have a really slow network. Like right now, you can see it's downloading over downloading, in the corner. It'll it'll give you a little bar, a process bar, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Well, that downloads. Uh, we've already shown you a phone saver. You've got a choice. You've got a uh, choice. Of there. You've got many a choice colors. Of five different colors: green, blue, red, purple, yellow. Okay, let me demonstrate iBeer. Everybody, iBeer is a okay. paid application. Adam, yell beer. 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 Yell it again. Okay. Okay. Still got a little left. Make it foamy. One of the games that I that personally I kind of hate, but I downloaded anyways was a uh, Eye Maze. I actually like Eye Maze. I think I'm gonna get it. It's not that realistic of a maze. It kind of glitchy. It, I want Labyrinth. It doesn't really roll. How much is Labyrinth? I'm gonna check right now. I will so buy that. It just... It How much is Labyrinth? Glitches, I don't know. How much is Labyrinth? I don't know. How much is Labyrinth? See, it's kind of glitchy. We have a 10-minute limit because we're not partners. I'm, I'm not a partner, but like... I'm not a partner. Okay, I'm going to search Labyrinth. Well, Talk to them about something. I guess since... This thing's not done downloading. I guess this will... After we check the price on Labyrinth, this will be the end of our uh, two-part, maybe three, overview... And overview of the. Did you mean labyrinth? <laughs> iPhone 3G and the iPhone. 2G. 2G. Oh here, here, iMaze comes up. Labyrinth is seven dollars. Seven dollars. I'm gonna download iMaze right now. Yeah, basically what I think it should be is uh, I think they should make most of the applications free. Well, most of them are. If you really look. But like, the good applications. Okay, like Super Monkey Ball. None of us is downloaded because it's. Ten dollars. Is it? It is expensive. Yeah. So but you get it for you, what you pay for. It's a great application, and for you, for people that don't know what labyrinth is, it's like a thingy with stuff. With it's a it's a ball rolling, and you're trying to avoid all the holes until you get to the end. Yeah, here's a screen capture if it ever loads on well, stupid loop, edge. Loop, it's done. Yeah, are you on edge? Why don't you connect to Perloni Wi-Fi? Can I, I guess this, this will end the our two our two part, two part maybe video. Three. We'll be back. Yeah, just watch two part. Okay. iPhone. Bye bye.